right, folks. As you can see, it's it's a rainy Saturday here. Weather report. Inch of rain coming down today. 61 degrees outside. Light south winds. And I've been fishing for an hour here. It's it's 12.15 right now. Um, I went to a spot hoping to catch weak fish. I caught no weak fish. I caught some stripers. A couple slots. A couple shorts. But uh, the weak fish evaded me once again. We're just going to this spot right now where hopefully we can catch some weak fish. But if not... Hopefully we catch some striped bass. All right guys, it's kind of pouring out here. So I got the camera pointed straight down, trying to avoid getting water on the lens. We're gonna throw the old uh, small dock here. I've been using this Dial X, the 300. G Loomis Pro Blue, seven foot. And I really like the bait caster these days. Here's our spot. Never been here. Expectations are not high, but we have wind at the back. There's a chance that we're gonna catch some fish. Just a chance, I mean, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna see here. Some tide going out. I'm like, the fish might be pretty small. That one did not bite. Seven inch dock. Let's try a different lure. Well, we're gonna downsize here. Fish telling us to downsize. This is the Ozuri hydro pencil they call it even though that's not much of a pencil we'll um, loosen this drag a bit here tone it down try to catch this fish that we just saw small fish surely We got him. What is that? Bluefish. Bluefish. Okay. Why did that bluefish not eat the seven inch dock? It's like a nice blue. I love bluefish. And trebles, especially bluefish and trebles. I think I have some 50 pound leader here. Might be 60. We're gonna take this fish to shore. Definitely. All right. This is better than the alternative. Better than being like a small striper, which is what I thought was gonna end up happening here. Oh, hook popped right out. Let's just uh, admire him briefly. It's a nice fish. So that's where we start. Blue fish. All right, leader is good. He barely touched our leader. A little top water here. Eh, we broke the ice. I'm a little surprised. Haven't had great luck with the blue fish. A couple days I had a couple blues. A couple hours of blues. But not, uh, you know, consistent. Not a lot. I'm not trying for them too much. All right, we got the skunk off with the little hydro top water. I'm gonna try this SP minnow bone. We'll give this like five or ten casts. What is wrong with that deer? What is he looking goofy? Oh, a lot of deer behind him too. 
You're one goofy looking deer. Alright, I don't know where we're going now. Your guess is as good as mine. Alright, so I just drove to this spot and uh, I was sitting in the lot thinking about the walk. It's a little bit of a walk. And I was looking at the map about, you know, this spot that I kind of wanted to go to. It was 52 minutes away and I'm like, am I going to really drive 52 minutes to go to some spot I've never even been to? You know, or am I just going to walk to this spot? There could be good things happening here. So we're going here. It's going to be, eh. We're going to see. How's this for a spot, huh? Interesting. Smaller top water, probably better. This big dock. It's not the big dock, it's actually the small dock, but it's maybe a little too big for this situation. Oh, yeah, we're wrong. Oh, we're off. Bitch, that was a decent fish. God dang it. Let's take this drag. God dang it. All right, well, the spook got one good blow up, and now the sluggo has one good bite, and we're just kind of missing everything. And we're going to try casting it along shore. I don't know how deep this water is. Got the sluggo on now. Come on, stripers are supposed to bite in the rain. We know this. We know this. Dicey rocks, folks. Rocks like this are really the ones you gotta watch out for. They're slippery. They're insecure. Oh, shit. Right on cue. That one is literally ice. Raining pretty hard. All right. Do I go further? Uh, no, but I can take one more cast. It's frustrating not being able to work the spook right because of the wind. Taking my line, we just lost a lot of that cast due to the wind. Oh, you son of a... You got a strike. All the way back here. Let's try again here. Will he come back? Come back. Oh, he's back. There we go. Got him. Pouring rain. He's nothing too serious. Might be a keeper. Might not be a keeper. I'm not keeping him anyway. We have worked hard for that one. All right, yeah, that'll keep. That fish, about not bad. Not bad. All right, is there another? Or was that all the same fish? All right, we beat the skunk here at this spot, thankfully. We fished here for like 
a good 45 minutes through the rain and through like the terrible this these rocks are terrible almost ate shit a few times oh we just missed one oh we got him we got him Might be a little smaller, yep. A little mo smaller. Call that a short. Small fish like that. Certainly hit a lure like that. Tube of fish. But as you see, single hook Got some pretty good canal rigged, you know, split ring, swivel, split ring, treble. You got some pretty good. Back hook is dangerous, man. Dangerous. I don't care how good you are. Back hook will get you. Little change of pace here, folks. We got a striped bass meal we're about to indulge in. Those are the fillets. Well, one fillet of a 29 inch striped bass that I caught yesterday. All right, what are we doing here? Some of this jasmine rice. All right, I like jasmine rice. Bam. Rinse the rice. Stir the rice. All right, there's the filet of the bass right there. It's got that crystal pink look to it. All right, I bled this fish as I caught it. Salt, pepper. All right, we're gonna go with a little bit of Old Bay. Just a little bit here, folks. We're gonna take the blackening seasoning Blackening season is going to be the bulk of the, um, uh, whatchamacallit here, seasoning. Stir the rice. Do not let the rice sit without getting stirred. Otherwise it will stick to the pan. All right, now this pan, got some butter. We got the ass of a lime. But we also have like this much lime juice. So you want to time this, okay? You want the rice and the fish to be done about the same time. The fish in the pan, like a 29 inch striped bass filet, is only gonna take about, I'd say eight or nine minutes, all right, to, uh, to uh, pan, pan whatever. The rice takes more closer to like eh, 20, 25 minutes, you know? So the rice has already been going for seven or eight minutes. We're gonna wear the GoPro. So shame on me for calling it a GoPro with the DJI Phantom. Okay, so here's, we're gonna take this butter and just go quick. Woo, that's some high heat, folks. Aforementioned, all right. Salty side down, all right. Smear it around on that stainless steel so that it doesn't stick right off the rip. It's gonna wanna stick. This is a little hot still. We're just gonna turn this down. Then we're gonna get more butter. Ooh, that's a lot of butter. It's actually not that much butter. And now this, bam. All right, don't let it stick to the pan. The rice looks pretty good. It's getting there. We're expediting the rice. All right, what I like with my rice, like leafy stuff, we have Italian seasoning. I like basil but uh, I don't think there's any basil in this cabinet. Then we're gonna get a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt there. Garlic powder. If you have garlic salt, that would be uh, a very good thing. Generally, that's what I'm going for is garlic salt, but since we don't have any, I'm just going with the, uh, the salt and the garlic. All right, let's just smear this around, make sure it's not sticking. All right, we have a lid we can cover. Let's stir. 
Let's go ahead and season the other side of this fish here. Same deal, some pepper and this old bay. This blackening seasoning, we're gonna need we're gonna need some of that. Because we are gonna flip this fish. Just real quick, hit it with a little bit of lime here, just around the perimeter. Alright, some lime's gonna just let's cover it. You know, moisten it up, keep it really, really delicious. This is your rice. That's a lot of rice, all right. That might not necessarily make you live longer, but it ain't French fries. Let's just tighten this up a little bit. Same recipe, whether it's sea bass, fluke, black fish. Okay, we're using striped bass right now. That's what's in season. And, uh, oh, God, that smells good. Look at that. Woo! Yes. Please. We got a little bit of this. We got a lot of that. Oh, look at that, folks. Finishing touch. All right, some lime. Might as well hit the rice with some lime too. So now, mm, some blackened striped bass. Some some rice. Mmm. Exceptional, folks exceptional all right we ate all of it we ate half the bass and we ate the rice all the rice oof oof i'm sad that that's over Ooh, we got some new hooks yeah those are the that's the that's the first time i changed hooks on that lure since last year even the jersey blitz video those were the same hooks from that video, but now we have this. All right, this is a spot where, again, we have fished. I don't know why, but it seems like lately the fishing's been better, like midday, early afternoon, than it has at like dusk. Like I went fishing at this spot the other day at dusk, and I got one dink. Whereas at like midday, a few days earlier, I caught like a nice fish. And in the boat, we had like, you know, big fish blitzing like one o'clock in the afternoon. So, I mean, historically you'd think dusk would be a good time, but you know, it's worth a shot. That's for sure. Let's go. Yeah, it's blowing. Heavy rain, strong winds, hard skunks. Let's see how hard we can skunk right now. <laughs> 